the best way to learn English is to practice it. Practice it as much as you can. Don't ever stop practicing. Hi everyone, I'm Malene and you're watching English Made Easy. Today I'm going to help you to remember how to use the word practice. If you are using American English, there will be no confusion at all. There is just one spelling of the word practice, that is P-R-A-C-T-I-C-E. However, if you are using British English, make no mistake, practice can be spelt in two different ways, depending on how you use it in a sentence. So let's see what the difference is, shall we? Two words, practice and practice, both pronounced exactly the same way. Practice, practice. Both have a sir sound. Practice and practice. The difference is in the way they are used in a sentence and in the spelling of the word. Let me emphasize once more that this lesson is only for those who are using British English. Like I said, if you are using American English, you will have no confusion at all. There is just one word that they use, P-R-A-C-T-I-C-E, that's it. In the US, there is no difference at all. The word is spelled P-R-A-C-T-I-C-E. There is no word P-R-A-C-T-I-S-E. In British English, however, there are two different spellings of the word and they are used differently. Let's see how they are different. This is the difference. Practice with a C is a noun and practice with an S is a verb. Now, going back to the basics, if you know what a noun and a verb is, then you will know exactly how to use these two words. A noun, like I would tell my students, the easiest way to remember is this. A noun is a naming word and a verb is a doing word. A noun is a naming word like dog, cat, Stella, um, Sophia. These are all nouns, names of places like Bangalore, Delhi. Okay, these are all nouns because they're naming words. They are names names of places, animals, things, a pen, a bottle, a pencil, a table, chair. These are all nouns because they're naming words. What is a verb? A verb is a doing word. It shows action. For example, running, walking, sitting, skipping, laughing, smiling, teaching. These are all verbs. So once you understand what a noun and a verb is, when you see the word in a sentence and you need to use it in a sentence, all you need to do is decide whether you are using the word as a noun or a verb. If you are using the word as a noun, you have to use the word with a C in it. And if you are using the word as a verb, you use the word with an S in it. Both are pronounced exactly the same way, like I said earlier. Practice, practice, sir sound, practice. One is a noun, one is a verb. I'll show you how. Practice with a C is the act of doing something to improve a skill. The act of doing something, not doing it, but the act of doing it. For example, I have just finished my football practice. If you notice the way the word is used here, it's used like a noun. It is not showing that someone is practicing football. It's talking about football practice as a thing, as a noun, not, not about a person doing something. Okay, football practice. So it's a noun in this case. Look at the second sentence. I am out of practice, so I need to swim more often. Again, practice, look at the way it is used here. It's used as a noun. And therefore, in both these cases, we use the word with a C in it. So all you need to do is check if you are using it as a noun or a verb. 
If you are using it as a noun, you use the word with a C in it. Practice with an S is to repeat an activity. Now it is you doing something, running, skipping like that. So if you're practicing, you've practiced, you practice, but it is the act of you doing something, doing an activity, repeating an activity, then you use the word with an S in it. For example, he practiced law for five years. Notice how it's used. He practiced, he did it for five years. The second sentence, you should practice using these two words to gain mastery of it. You really should. So see how this is used. You should practice. You should do it. You should use the two words. Only then you will gain mastery of it. Right? So I hope I have made that clear through this lesson today. Before I end though, I have a question for you. Listen to this sentence carefully and then tell me how you would spell the word practice in this case. I've said this in the beginning of today's lesson. I'm repeating it again. If you were using British English, how would you spell this word? The best way to learn English is to practice it. The best way to learn English is to practice it. How would you spell the word practice in this case? Would it be P-R-A-C-T-I-C-E or P-R-A-C-T-I-S-E? Let me know. I'll see you soon again. And until then, cheerio.